what is up youtube sorry i'm so close welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching me then girl welcome to my channel you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you will not be disappointed and i'm sure you want to come back for some more of this girl you should you should okay this is going to be a tutorial a very very basic walkthrough hold your hand beginner friendly tutorial on this here look hopefully you like it girl if you don't i mean you still might get some good old gems about blending some good old tips and tricks and all that jazz and if you're interested in seeing how i achieve this look or trying to see if you can learn something girl just keep on watching all right first things first i'm going to moisturize this is just a moisturizing serum that i got in a i don't remember what it came with i think it was like in a little box that i used some points with at sephora but because it's very, very cold and my skin is very, very dry, I am going to apply that liberally all over. Okay, and I'm also going to spray a little bit of this Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. Because she needs all of the moisture that, that she can get. And shout out to my skin because, girl, for a minute... I was having all kind of issues and I just did not know how to fix it. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I literally was trying everything that I knew of and that I read of online to try to fix my skin. She just was dry, she was just a mess and nothing was working but we're good now though. The primer that I'm going to use today is going to be the Smashbox Photo Finish, which is almost completely finished. Alright, so now that we have the skin all prepped, moisturized, and primed, and a good little barrier to, you know, lock in that moisture, we can proceed with foundation. I'm going to switch it up today. I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Natural Radiance. Longwear Foundation. I am Syracuse and... Yeah, it's really, really good for us dry faced girls. So if you have dry skin and you're looking for a good moisturizing foundation, here you go. I'm going to buff it out with my Morphe M439. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around the perimeter of my face with this good old Sephora concealer and do a cream contour. All right, and so I like under the eye and like down the bridge of the nose and the forehead little piece. I'm gonna use this Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the color golden beige. I'm gonna allow that to sit just a bit because I just find that it blends out better and I like the coverage better on a concealer that's just not so wet, so. In the meantime, I'm going to fill in these good old eyebrows. I'm drinking water today. You know, typically when I sit here and do my little tutorials, I'm drinking wine or something stronger. But today we drinking good old H2O. This brush I've had so long that the words are gone. I don't know what brush this was is but is my favorite brush and it's just a small little thin angle brush that paints on these eyebrows like a dream and then I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade I am medium brown let's get us some brows on shall we Now typically when I blend out the under eye concealer, I go ahead and just pat some of that onto my lid to just use as a base for my eyeshadow and prep that, get that good and ready because that is where I'm going next. Alright, and I gotta move quickly because my under eye is so greasy. I'm going to set with the Easy Bake Loose Baking Powder from Huda Beauty in the color Blondie. I am not a baker, but... For the sake of catching any potential fallout, I'm going to just go ahead and put that safety net there. Just in case, you know, something wants to jump ship. 
we're not gonna let that one little monkey run the show. I'm gonna add just a wee bit more concealer. The palette I'm going to be using for today's look is the, I think it's called the Duce, Duce, Duce palette by Juvia's Place. This is what it looks like on the inside. I was very excited about this color story when I first got it. Honestly, when I first used the palette, I was not impressed. I didn't like it. And every other palette that I have of hers, I have like three or four more. And they're all so beautiful. Such good quality. Blend out like a dream. I don't know if I was doing something wrong, but we're going to see if we can make something shake and make our work today. I'm going to start by using this color in the Warrior Palette by Juvia's. I love this palette so much. I love it so, so much. And it's a beautiful brown and it blends really, really nicely. And I just love it. Then we'll hop back over into this little bad boy right here. My favorite brush for blending like the crease out is the Morphe 504. It's just a thick little, you know, round, cute little buffing brush. Dip into that, tap off the excess, which really helps avoid fallout. And then just in a very light back and forth motion, apply that brown shade. On the brow bone just to give it a nice little transition color different people use different blended motions for my little piece of eyelid space y'all this back and forth motion does me just fine blue not now a lot of her palettes are very easy to blend with like they're very good starter palettes a lot of people argue that drugstore is a good place to start but if your quality is not so good like when I first started out and if I would buy a cheap eyeshadow that just wasn't a good quality, didn't blend good, you know, was chalky. I always thought it was just me and that I just sucked and couldn't do eyeshadow. But really, it was just, I was buying some cheap little products that did not work well. So Juvia is, is really good for beginners because it's really good quality. It blends very nicely. And it don't cost that much. And she always got a bomb sale going on. Next, I'm going to take this color here, which is Crips. And then I'm going to add it to the outer corner. And inner corner of both eyes. I think I'm going to go for like a halo look today. So yeah, we're going to do that right now. With that same color, I'm just going to go into the inner corner as well. And just do the same little blending motion. I'm going to switch brushes for a smaller fluffy brush. It's the same shape. It's just a little smaller and I can get into the little corners. This brush came in a collection and if I'm not mistaken, when they come in collections, they don't have the number. I don't think they do because none of the ones that came in this particular set had a number on it. So this is just what it looked like. It's just, a... but I'm pretty sure they sell the brush separately. It's just a little smaller fluffy blending brush. Going back into that same color and just really trying to get in there to darken those corners a little bit. I'm going to lightly tap into this and use just a little bit of it just to just to deepen up those corners just a little bit. You don't want them too deep. Just, just to add a little bit of depth. I'm going to add just a little concealer in the center of both lids. So the center color of our whole halo look, I have something to adhere to really well. Okay, so with a small little packing brush, this is the MAC 213. Morphe has plenty more affordable brushes just like it that'll work the same. It's just what I grabbed. Spray a little bit with some setting spray just so it picks up really nicely. Because I'm going to go for a shimmer, which would be this color right here called Puffs. And press it onto the eyelid over that concealer. And first, I just want to cover the concealer, right? We're going to blend it out. But first, we just got to get her there. We just got to get her on. With that brush, 
that we use for the browns. Just gonna blend all around. Integrating the two colors. to do that until it just blends if I find that my shimmer color is just getting a little too out of hand if she, if she just if she's just traveling off into lens that she should not be then I'll just pick up some more brown and like work her back this way and then that's just it I am really feeling this like minty green color and I feel like it don't really go with the look but then something in my soul is just saying girl you can work it in there some kind of way you can make you can make it go with the look I don't know if I want to risk it all so, I don't think I do. I know my mama want to call me back. I've been calling this girl for two days. She ain't been answered. But now she, now she want to blow my phone up. I'll call you back, girl. Because is really speaking to me, too. Let's not be a chicken. Let's go in with custard. On the bottom. Just going to take a little small, little, you know, a little brush like this. That ain't got too much going on around the bristles. You know, the thing about pink eyeshadow under the eye, I always feel like it's so easy to look sick. You know, like you're about to croak. And I don't want to do that. That's not really the look that we're going for. You never want to look sick. But this might work. All right, and on the outside, I'm going to go back into Crips. Crips. Crips and just add that to the outer bottom layer so we can make you know we want to make the top and the bottom a little a little more cohesive because the pink just came out of nowhere actually i'm thinking about taking some of this custard and just dabbing that on the outskirts of this halo we got going on up here that chocolate chocolate chocolates without the e i'm going to just put it right at the edges A look is not a look without a bomb in a corner. We'll take this small little brush here. Spray her with a little bit of satin spray. Get a little wet. Tap into this little color right here, which is tart. And apply that right in the inner corner. Now I'm about to dust away the under eye, but we have virtually like no fallout. That's what I'm talking about. Blue is just laying here watching me do my makeup, falling asleep. I think this is some sort of ASMR for him, like live action ASMR. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Caution Mascara today. You can use any mascara you want to, cause Gray Lash works amazingly too. And some to the bottom as well. This may be very weird, but I never know if I want to put on eyeliner until after I put my lashes on. Like, I feel like I don't ever know if a look requires the eyeliner or would be better with an eyeliner until I have my mascara. Did I say lashes on? My mascara on. So, I'm just going to take my little black eye curl by MAC in the color Smolder and just and that. To the bottom waterline like so and of course my lashes will be a pair from the aliexpress lash haul that i did video up there in the eye cards right now i need to order me some more because 
from that video i still have like four pairs for a new pair that i haven't opened but they're all very dramatic lashes like they are the thick ones the good old massive lashes these are kind of massive too but they're not as big as the ones that i left baby trust I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara to the bottom lashes to try to get them a little closer to the top ones, you know. I am going to use this bronzer from Becca. It is the one that I can't pronounce, honey. It's Ipanema Sun, Ipanema Sun. I don't know. Every time I have to try to struggle to pronounce this on a video, I tell myself, I gotta go look that up and see what it is so I can call it the right name and then I never even think about it again until I'm sitting here struggling trying to pronounce it again. So there's that. I love this bronzer. And then, you know, we're just gonna add a little bit into the hairline because we can't have the scalp out here looking like she hasn't seen the sun. Quiet as it's kept, she has not seen the sun because she's been tucked away up under these good old party caps but you know whatever one thing you will never see me do on this channel or ever is apply blush i am not a blush girl unless somebody comes out with a bomb oh super bomb blush that you know just makes me look like i don't know what you ain't gonna see that for me you will, however, see your girl highlights. And today's highlighter, as it has been probably for the last 10 videos on my channel, is going to be the Royalty 2 by Juvia's. Might as well be, you know. We might as well do the Juvia's. We might as well keep the theme going. Look, concentrated spot of highlighter there. Look how beautiful that is. Like, it's so, oh, it's so good. It's hands down my favorite highlighter to date. We're gonna take some of that on the down the bridge of the nose. Cupid's bow action. A little bit here on the temples. Today's lip is going to be natural look. It is a it's a lip gloss by Sephora. It is the number three. It's a very sheer pink. That completes today's look. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe if you have not. You know, it's a little bead down in the corner. So, I don't know if it's my left or my right, but it's a little bee wearing a crown, okay? You can just click that to subscribe. I will put a little circle of me right here for you to subscribe. You know, I'm trying to make it easy, girl. I'm trying to make it real easy for you to just come back and kick it with your girl, you know? Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.